What is going on guys? What's good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial today on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you very simply how to build a villager trading call. Now this villager trading call should be able to take up to about 11 villagers. Now these villagers can be whatever you want. It doesn't matter what type. The basis of this farm is very simple. You need three separate designs. One, a way to get the villagers from your breeder to your um, to trading call. What are two? A simple selection, a slice, if you will, for your trading call, and three, a corner piece for your trading call. Now, straight away, what you're going to want to do is go find a chunk. It doesn't have to be a chunk, but it just generally works and is more reliable in a chunk. Secondly, what you're going to want to do is go to the edge of that chunk and place, break five blocks, so three, four, five blocks here, break a block here. Then come here and break that block. So you should have like a little bit in from the thing actually. It should be there. No. Can I not build correctly today? No, I can't. It should be like that. So you want to go to the front of this block, two blocks along here, two blocks along here, and then just make another five th uh, along here. This is where your village is going to be. Just leave that sheep as it is for now. Now, just come to the one of these, I'm going to show you how to build one, and then I'll just get the rest. You're going to want to grab a lever. Now, you don't have to have multiple levers, you just have to have one. But I'm going to, yeah, anyway. Put a lever here, come to the other side, place the st stairs here. Get a pressure plate and place it here. That's the little bit for your farm, and that's most of it done already. Now, break this block here, place a redstone torch. Smooth stone block with another redstone torch here. This should depower. If it doesn't, make sure you place the redstone torch here. Anyway, once you've done that, you're going to want to grab two more blocks, place them like this. The block here, two blocks up like that, so you have like a nice little inverted L. Break this block and have a redstone torch top of here. Place a redstone just here with a sticky piston, like so. Get an upside down slab, place it here. Get a half slab, lower half slab, and place it here, like that. So if I stand here, you can see this comes on top, and this will stop your villagers from escaping. And when it, if it retracts, it goes like that. Now, place the block on top of that with a smooth stone slab like that. Place two block, two redstone dust here, and grab yourself an activator rail. Make sure it's an activator rail, otherwise the farm won't work because this makes the villagers hop out the minecart when they go down. That's, pretty, that's all the redstone done. Now you just want to come to the side here and place three glass blocks like this on both sides. Place a block here. This is going to be temporary, so it can be whatever you want. This is where your station's going to be. And then place a glass block here, just show this one, and get a trapdoor. If you may type a trapdoor, just make sure it's a trapdoor that's facing like that to stop any mobs from getting at your villagers. I do have some to um, add though, if you're using a lectern or a brewing stand, because they're not full blocks, you will have to keep this closed at all times, Otherwise, un when you unless you're trading, because baby zombies will be able to get in. Now, come to the top, place a temporary block here, a block here, and a temporary block in the middle. This can be any solid block, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be solid either. Just place a block in the middle, and place block glass either side, too high like this, with a glass block here. Finally, the last thing you're going to want to do, get some smooth stone and place it here. Strung the block in the middle and that's it, that's your little trading call thing done. So the villagers will come along like this, pretend I'm a villager, they'll come on, sit on here and they'll get pushed along and into here. Now they'll be stuck, they can't get out. So what you're going to want to do now is just repeat it for all these, uh, all the Slices apart from this corner one. Do not do this one now. I will show you how to do that in a second. Alrighty now, you should have something looking a bit like this. I'm gonna go straight on and show you. So you've got around you've got ten compartments now for your ten villagers, and you will have this little block here as any block you want. <coughs> I apologize for my throat. Anyway, push up this block. What you're gonna want to do is break this block and this block and have two levers. You can have just this one or just this one. I used to because it looks nicer. Now I do apologise, this farm is not symmetrical because you can't actually have it like this because it just reverts back. Bedrock, yee! Anyway, 
the, all you need to do is just build this just one block forward. So it'll be three blocks here, three blocks here, and again, oh no, not <laughs> not not that. Uh, redstone torch here, blackstone um, block torch, two blocks, one block, two. Again, it's just the same pattern repeated. Now I do have some to add. I think I forgot any other one. You need a block on top of this, otherwise the far uh, the, the farm. Otherwise, the signal won't be transmitted along to the piston. Uh, again, place a lower half slab with a block on top. Slap up a slab like that with two redstone dust and a activator rail. Also, the block on top of that, and then just fill in with the glass. So we'll look a bit clunky, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I'm afraid, it, yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant way of doing it. Uh, so you should have something, when you're done, a little bit light. Oh, no, not. Oh, this is not going well, is it? Uh, eh. Oh, God. I just can't do anything today, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, no, you're going to want to get... I keep thinking I'm flying. There you go, so your farm, your thing will be looking a bit like this. Now you can just fill this in with blocks or yeah, whatever, but it, it's fine. I think it's, yeah, you can have another set here, you can choose two. Now if you do want to, I won't, I'm not going to show you the tutorial. Again, it's just the same, just one forwards. So you have two villages here, one either side. Anyway, let's get this other one done and I'll come straight back to you again. Now you've got that done, all that's left to do is get your little rail system in so you can get your villagers. Now, very simply, all it is, is placing blocks between here. Now, as you can see, I have got a glass up here. This is to stop any of the um, villagers from hopping out their minecarts and walking around. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen, so that's why I'm just recommending you put it there. So, if you do run into a glass like that, just go around and just have, like, because um, villagers... I think entities in minecarts can go around. Now, you don't need to use a whole load of powered rails, just a couple every now and again. And if you want to, just flip a lever here, it doesn't affect it at all. So yeah. Uh, the rest you can just fill up with regular rails like this, because powered rails act over long distances. Just, I would recommend having a couple of powered rails here. Well, again, but just because it makes it go faster. So, just, yeah, place things around if you have to, if not, yeah. Anyway, then get your glass and, as before, fill in everywhere so the villagers cannot escape. If they do pop out, they'll just go straight down. And all that's left to do is the little thing that gets your villagers out of the portal. So just grab some obsidian and flint and steel quickly. Uh, I've got water. Yeah, I've got water. That's brilliant. So, that flint and steel. What you're going to have is, say, we can just bring this track down slightly. Let's bring this down here. So, what you're going to have is a little system. Oh, I've lost my lever now. A system like so. So, it's going to take your minecart, villagers and minecarts and just go up here so you're going to want to have like three, four blocks along and say your portal is here now, in the recent update unfortunately uh, I mentioned before, buttons haven't are, buttons have stopped working so you cannot use them anymore, however trapdoors still are so you're going to want to come to the back of your portal and fill those six blocks in could be any block, doesn't really matter light your portal so it's like so you can get your villagers through easier, you transport them easier, and then get a little bucket of water and put it in the bottom here. So when your villagers spawn in, they'll get pushed to this side. And so here, you're going to want some transparent blocks, so glass I would highly recommend. And unfortunately that's gone the wrong place, so let's get that. So you have it like this. You'd have it like this, well, this, but, yeah, and then when you just want to power it, you'd have that, leave it just to get it up and down. Now, if I show you quickly, 
I'll grab a minecart and I'll grab a villager spawn egg. Um, you, however, I do hasten to add that you cannot have nitwits or baby villagers. Also, only send the villagers through one at a time. You have, otherwise, it's going to be quite a trouble putting, getting workstations for each of them. So, once you've placed your trap doors here, you're going to want to fill in the sides. You can do two blocks or three blocks, it doesn't really matter as long as the villagers cannot escape. Now, so, you spawn some villagers, they've gone through. Oh, not that's the wrong way. They'll go, they'll go try get out, but they can't. So as you can see, they're in this corner here. If you put a minecart here, they'll go into it, and you can just flick the lever, and they'll go up. And then they go down here. It doesn't matter if they take a bit of damage because once they're in here, they're safe. Also, in addition, you can, if you don't want the villager to go in a certain cell, flick the lever, as this will stop the villagers from getting in. Once. You do that, you can just unflick it and it's fine. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Later, guys.